Lt. Roberta Catherine Price Name McAdams, July 21, 1880, December 16, 1959, was a provincial-level politician and military dietitian from Alberta, Canada. She was the second woman elected to a legislative body in the British Empire and the first to introduce and pass a piece of legislation. Early life, McAdams was born and raised in Sarnia, Ontario. Her father, Robert McAdams, was the owner and editor of the conservative newspaper Sarnia Canadian. In 1911, McAdams graduated from the Macdonald Institute for Domestic Science, located on the campus of the Ontario Agricultural College in Guelph. She moved to Alberta, where she worked as a domestic science instructor with the Alberta government. She traveled around the province, speaking with rural women about their needs and teaching home economics. Her report on her findings led to the creation of the Alberta Women's Institutes, a support network for rural women. In 1912, she became the supervisor of household science for the Edmonton Public School District, teaching cooking classes. Military career In 1916, McAdams was commissioned as a lieutenant in the Canadian Army Medical Corps, even though she was not a nurse. Her enlistment papers listed her as a nursing sister because she would be trained and quartered with nurses. She was appointed the staff dietitian at the Ontario Military Hospital in Orpington, England, where she oversaw the production of 3,500 meals a day for the hospital's patients and staff. Political career In 1917, the Alberta Military Representation Act enabled the election of two at-large members of the Legislative Assembly of Alberta, to represent the soldiers and nurses from Alberta serving overseas. There were 20 male candidates running for these seats and McAdams was encouraged to run by war correspondent and suffragist Beatrice Nasmith. Nasmith had McAdams' campaign photos taken by leading celebrity photographer Emil Otto Hoppe. These photos showed McAdams in a nursing sister's uniform with a white wimple, and McAdams ran with the campaign slogan Give one vote to the man of your choice and the other to the sister. She will work not only for your best interests, but for those of your wives, mothers, sweethearts, sisters and children after the war. Remember those who have helped you so nobly through the fight. McAdams was elected to the legislature as independent, becoming the second woman elected to the assembly, after Louise McKinney of the Nonpartisan League. Although the vote was part of the 1917 provincial general election that elected McKinney, the completion of the overseas voting and count took place at a later date than the in-province vote making her the second woman member of the Legislative Assembly. McAdams became the first woman in the British Empire to introduce and successfully pass a piece of legislation, the act to incorporate the Great War Next of Kin Association. This legally recognized a veterans organization. After her first legislative session, McAdams joined the staff of the Khaki University, a university extension program for soldiers. After the war ended, she chaperoned British war brides to Canada and continued assisting these women through her work on the Alberta Soldier Settlement Board. Her work in the legislature led to the establishment of a teacher training school in Edmonton. In 1920, McAdams married Alberta lawyer Harvey Stinson Price. She chose not to run in the 1921 election. Instead, she moved to Calgary with her husband and son Robert, where she continued to be involved in women's and educational organizations until her death. Legacy McAdams' portrait was presented to the Alberta Legislature on March 16, 1967, in honor of her accomplishments. The Roberta McAdams School in Edmonton, Alberta, which opened on October 20, 2016, was named in her honor.